What's up Madden community? MT Squared back with another Madden 22 Ultimate Team video and today I want to tell you my top 5 reasons that you should build a theme team. Theme teams have become increasingly more popular this year because of the benefits you get so we're going to talk about why they are actually better. But before we get into my top five reasons to build a theme team, take one second, just one second, and drop a like down below because I know that you're gonna like this video and subscribe so you can see future content. Most of the videos I post are theme team related as that is my passion in Madden 22, building the best theme teams. All right, let's get into the top five reasons to build a theme team. In no particular order, we're gonna start off with the boost that you get to speed, acceleration, strength, jumping, and agility. If you're unaware how the boosts for theme teams work, you get a plus one to an attribute for every five teams, uh, five team chemistries. So at five team chemistries, all of those players get plus one to strength. At 10, all of the players get plus one to jumping. At 15, you get plus one to agility. At 20, you get plus one to acceleration. And at 25, you get the plus one to the all important speed. The cycle repeats at 30 for strength, all the way back up to 50, where you get that second speed boost. These boosts occur for every member of your team that is part of that team that add up, added up to whatever you have. So 25, 50, whatever it is. So if you have a 50 out of 50 theme team, all 50 of those players or 50 uh, or players that count toward those team chemistries will get plus two to all five of these attributes. If you have players that are not part of that team, then they won't get those uh, boosts to those attributes. Next. Theme team options, 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 options. There's a ton of them when you are building a theme team and you can build a 50 out of 50. You can build a triple 25 theme team with three different teams represented and still having 25 out of each theme, uh, out of each theme team. You can now build a 50 plus 25 theme team. I've been putting out lots of videos on uh, teams that can pair together for 50 plus 25 theme teams and then also triple 25 theme teams and you can still have other players on those triple 25 theme teams or 50 out of 50. Most people know that you can, but it is still a common misconception that if you have a theme team, you can't have other players from other teams. At this point in the game, if you build a 50 out of 50 theme team with both team diamonds, that team stocking stuffer, and have a team captain in your, in your lineup, you can actually have 15 players or playbooks on your team that are not part of that 50 out of 50 theme team. So if you've got holes on your offensive line, or if you want a specific quarterback for the abilities that your quarterback might not have, or if you are more comfortable with specific playbooks, or if you want specific defensive backs, whatever it is, you can still have 15 players. And that doesn't even count uh, teams that have extra times two chemistry cards. So like the Dolphins have Jalen Phillips' Gridiron Forge card with times two chemistry. Nadama Kansu also gets times two chemistry for the Dolphins. Or the Cowboys have C.D. Lamb and Ezekiel Elliott with both times two chemistry. So both of those teams, the Dolphins and the Cowboys, can have 17 open spots on their team. And there's many other teams that have other cards with extra times two chemistry. So the Bills, the Broncos, Bengals, Rams, Bucks, Panthers, Titans, Patriots, Lions, Steelers, Saints, 49ers. Yeah, lots of options. And there's a lot of teams that have those hidden extra times two chemistry cards. Um, but if you build a triple 25 team team, you can have anywhere between four and eight extra spots depending on the teams that you choose. This is actually my favorite scenario and what I think is best. I'm currently running a triple 25 team team with Arizona, Detroit, and Washington. You also have the option of running a 50 plus 25 theme team, which is very popular right now. I've been doing a lot of videos on teams that you can pair together, but there is normally no room for error at all as it has to be very precise, including all playbooks. All right, next. You don't always have to go out and get the best players at every single position. Part of the frustration of Madden Ultimate Team is having to constantly upgrade players with new cards that come out every single day or every single week. How many times have you gotten a new wide receiver or running back on a Tuesday for the new team of the week cards, spent anywhere between 300 to 500,000 coins on that card, plus five, 10, maybe 15,000 in training, depending on how late you are in the year to fully upgrade the card, just to have overalls increase and then an even better card come out at the same exact position four days later for Legends Weekend. Unfortunately, some cards have a short shelf life because of how often new cards come out uh, and there being so much content that comes out every week, which is awesome that we get so much content. But again, um, if you're one of those player, uh, pl people that like to have the best players at every single position, it's almost like a curse and a blessing. Uh, but when you decide on a theme team and stick to it, if 
it decreases the need to have to do that. Because in October, you're 92 overall wide receiver without the theme team boost um, will have the same, if not better stats than the next 94 overall wide receiver. I'm sorry, I mean 92 without the theme team boost, but they're gonna get the boost to speed and acceleration strength, jumping and agility. So that 92 is actually gonna become like a 94 probably um, with the theme team boost. So you don't have to continuously go out and get the best card in every single position. You can pick and choose which cards will be beneficial to your squad and focus on upgrading cards for your theme team, which may only be one or two cards a week. All right, next, makes the best players in the game even better. This might be my favorite reason. So let's go back to the date the game came out. Who was the fastest receiver in the game? If you don't remember, you'll remember real quick because if you didn't have him, you played against him about every single game probably. Tyreek Hill, his 87 overall card had 89 speed. So he had 90 speed when he was powered up. The next guy behind him was DK Metcalf's 83 overall card with 87 speed. Still a really good card. Didn't have as good of a uh, route running as Tyreek Hill. So that Tyreek Hill card was very overpowered at the beginning of the game. So if you put Tyreek Hill on the Chiefs theme team and you're talking about a 92 speed without strategy cards. 92 speed doesn't sound like a big deal now, but back in August and early September, that was a huge deal. And many people used that card for a very long time in the beginning. And then he continually got upgrades, obviously. Uh, but you could draw this same comparison to defensive backs, to even defensive linemen, because uh, we all need fast defensive linemen, tight ends, running backs, even quarterbacks, anyone. And we all talk about speed, but there, you're also adding acceleration, jumping, agility, and strength. All right, last but not least, of course, because theme teams are fun. Everyone plays Madden Ultimate Team for different reasons, but in the end, we don't just do it for the stress of Weekend League or the delayed promos or the bugs that happen in the game because we all know those are expected by now. We play Madden Ultimate Team so we can enjoy playing the game with our favorite teams and our favorite players, both players that are legends of the game that were the best during their time and current players that make the game what it is today. So go build your team however you want, but I'm pretty sure building your team will be more fun if you build it with players you already know and like to watch. And that's it for today's video, guys. Um, I know very different style than what I have been doing, uh, but I kind of wanted to, you know, kind of give you guys a perspective of well, how I look into theme teams and why I think that they're important and why I think that they're uh, much better than the God Squads and can be more fun. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about this video. I'd love to hear what you love the most about playing Madden. Maybe it's building teams. Maybe it's getting stressed in some sweaty weekend league games. Maybe it's just solo challenges and getting all the free stuff in Madden, or maybe it's stuff like house rules. For me, I love analyzing teams and figuring out how I can make the best players in the game even better. I hope you did enjoy this video or found it helpful. And if you did, drop a like down below and subscribe so you can see future content. And thank you for watching.